So to celebrate the release of The Nice Guys, written and directed by Shane Black, I figured it is the perfect time to review Shane Black's directorial debut, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. everybody, this is 22TigerDude here, and I'm here to review Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. So, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is written and directed by Shane Black. The film stars Robert Downey Jr., Val Kilmer, and Michelle Monaghan. And I'm not going to go too deep into the plot of this film. All I'm going to say is that there is this murder mystery that's happening, and it brings together this private detective, Val Kilmer, and this thief played by Robert Downey Jr. and yeah they just basically have to solve this mystery and honestly that's all you have to know for Kiss Kiss Bang Bang because I really don't want to give away any plot details but that's really the basics of the story and before I do review Kiss Kiss Bang Bang I brought on a guest star to review this film with me so before I review it I'm gonna give the spotlight to Special Mark Productions aka Mark Krojic so Mark Take it away, man. Hey, Tony, thanks so much for having me on your show and helping review Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Now, I'm going to fully admit, when it first came out direct to video, I was like, Val Kilmer, Robert Downey Jr.? Because Robert Downey Jr., this is before Iron Man, so, you know, he was still kind of doing some direct to video stuff, and then I was like, okay. So I watched it, and I will say, first time I watched this film, I didn't quite get it, okay? I like noir films, but this is 10 years earlier here, 2005, when it came out, and for me, uh, I don't know if I was just not in the right mindset or what so I've revisited it a couple times since then and let me tell you Shane Black's style drips through this film and it makes it a very entertaining buddy film this is the guy who wrote Lethal Weapon 1, 2, 3, and 4 he wrote Monster Squad which is considered one of the best monster films still out there um, in many uh, circles especially the horror circles so you know he, we, he knows material and he can do buddy very well and here is first time directing you couldn't quite tell because he handles this complex script very well and juggles a lot of things now he does take you on a roller coaster ride of tone but that's what he's always done lethal weapon we've had the anti-hero in the uh, form of uh, Riggs who uh, you know was kind of funny in the way of how crazy he was as a cop and then we find out he's actually got a dark crazy side here as well he goes to some dark places in here with these characters and then he'll have a shtick involving a severed finger you, you know he takes you on this interesting ride this really felt kiss kiss bang bang really did feel like a good pulp novel story a good noir pi gritty pulp novel story and i loved that about it you know where all the characters some of them are a bit stereotypical but some of them uh feel refreshing and new and the performances with val kilmer and uh, robert Downey jr and michelle monaghan these three really have some great chemistry together and i loved how they handled the dialogue in here as well as uh just how they handled themselves on screen it's I have very little bad things to say about Kiss Kiss Bang Bang outside of the fact that it is such a complex script that if you miss a few minutes in here, you may miss exactly what's going on. So for me, I enjoy Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, highly recommend it to all noir folks, and give it four out of five stubs. Tony, what'd you think of it? Thank you so much, Mark Krojic, for reviewing Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. So, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, it is the first time Shane Black has ever both written and directed a film. This is the first film he has ever directed. And I have to say, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is by far one of the best directorial debuts I've honestly ever seen. Because this movie is fantastic. The movie has some action going for it. There's a ton of comedy. And it does have some nice heartwarming moments to really make the story flow very well. Robert Downey Jr. is so freaking fantastic in this movie. Definitely, you know, he's a great actor, but this is definitely one of his best performances, hands down. Robert Downey Jr., he really makes you care about his character because his character is a thief, but you really understand why he's pretty much gone this path, and Robert Downey Jr., you could tell, is trying his best to really get 
out of that path and his character is definitely the most fleshed out. His character definitely has the most depth to him and I really loved his character as thanks to his performance which was honestly really incredible that I was able to really truly get invested behind his character. And Val Kilmer, who is this private detective that works with Robert Downey Jr., so it's very funny how it's a private detective working with the thief to solve a murder mystery. Val Kilmer was really great in this film as well. And uh, just how he interacts with Robert Downey Jr. is great, and that's definitely one of the best things about Kiss Kiss Bang Bang hands down is the chemistry between Val Kilmer and Robert Downey Jr. Their interactions together are just so strong and they're a lot of fun to watch. These two are definitely what make the movie just so memorable along with of course the storytelling, the writing, the direction, all that's incredible. Shane Black you know, as I just said, it's one of the best directorial debuts, and that's because, man, did he really knock it out of the park with his direction. His direction was top-notch, in my opinion. You know, it's a film noir, so the way he films this movie is honestly really beautiful. Cinematography is just incredible, and the script is so clever. There are so many funny moments in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. It's like almost the entirety of the film was snapping up with all of these comedic moments and honestly the comedic moments work very well even though there is a lot of them it actually keeps the pace of the movie flowing very well the movie never drags in my opinion michelle monaghan i also really loved in this film i thought michelle monaghan did a really great job and everyone else in this film they were really great in this film as well but really the main focus of the film is Robert Downey Jr., Val Kilmer, and Michelle Monaghan. These are really the characters you follow in this film, and they all do a great job of making you care for their characters. And not only do I really love the interaction with Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer, but how Robert Downey Jr. would interact with Michelle Monaghan was also very fantastic. I love their little back and forth, and it does create for some funny moments going along with the film. And the murder mystery behind the film also kept me very interested. And whenever the action is here in the film, because I say there is some action, but I say the movie has more comedy than it does have action but when the action happens the action is so awesome I loved how the action is filmed it was just always so exciting and I love the score in this film as well the score sounds fantastic it really fits the tone of the movie so perfectly if I have to be honest it really was the perfect score to have for a film called kiss kiss bang bang and i just loved how the whole movie resolved its storyline and then of course harry the character that robert downey jr plays this whole movie is narrated by him and he even narrates like the film cliches and what's gonna happen and all that stuff and i just really loved how self-aware the movie was because of that the way it just points at certain cliches like oh yeah and then there's this thing right here this movie honestly did have me laughing i was really engaged but I was also laughing at so many moments at the same time. And that's what honestly makes Kiss Kiss Bang Bang one of the best buddy cop comedies I've honestly ever seen. Now, if I have to point out uh, just a couple of flaws with Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and they're honestly very minor, I do think they could have fleshed out Val Kilmer's character more. Because I know Robert Downey Jr. really, you could say, is like the main, main character that they focused on even though it is Val Kilmer's movie as well and I just wish we got to learn a little more about Val Kilmer but you know I still was truly invested with Val Kilmer's character and I do feel like when we do get to the climax uh, which is honestly super fantastic by the way um, it does get a little bit rushed and it does feel like they're wrapping up the climax just so they could end the movie and honestly, that's it, you guys. Those are just minor flaws I'm really pointing out. Overall, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is a fantastic buddy cop comedy. I honestly loved everything about Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Robert Downey Jr., Val Kilmer, Michelle Monaghan, they're all very fantastic. And the movie is just so clever. I love this movie. I can't stress that enough. I'm going to give Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, of course, four out of four stars. 
absolutely it deserves that rating in my opinion so you guys in the comments down below what did you think about kiss kiss bang bang and i also want to give a huge thank you to mark krochik from his channel special mark productions he's a very cool dude you guys he absolutely loves movies he reviews a lot of indie horror films a lot of films i've honestly never heard of and that's what makes this channel just so unique the fact that he reviews a lot of these movies that not a lot of reviewers review. He's a very great guy, you guys. He has a really great podcast called The Spoiler Room as well, you guys, which I do make appearances in from time to time. So you can even catch me in some of the episodes for The Spoiler Room. Uh, you can check it out at his website, specialmarkproductions.com, or you can check it out on iTunes. I'm going to leave a link to Mark's channel in the description below. So this is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!